Guys, it's Kia, and today's video is what would you wear? It was a tag that was started by Rose and Jones, but I was tagged by the lovely Joss Jane. So in this tag, we, well, the person who tags you gives you a scenario and then asks you what would you wear in that scenario. So Joss gave us the scenario of going on a winter and ski adventure. Winter and ski adventure. I've been out to the slopes maybe once and that was to chaperone a school field trip. Um, I don't know why I've never been. Um, however, I do really want to experience like maybe the fun tubing and then the whole log cabin thing. Yeah. So on this winter and ski adventure, I would definitely wear Atlas Garden by YSL. This is a gorgeous, um, bold, pretty bold fragrance. It's funny that I'm talking about it because I declared that I hate Neroli at this point. Um, this fragrance was the one that made me just throw in the towel and say, forget it. I hate Neroli. But, but, like a lot of fragrances, you have to have some patience and give it a chance, which is not, um, you know, one day, a sniff or two. This one actually took a couple of days. Um, I think the Neroli and Orange Blossom had to kind of macerate with the rest of the fragrance and kind of smooth itself out. Um, and so, yeah, once it did that, I was fine. So in this fragrance, you do have the Neroli and Mandarin Orange um, kind of in the top, keeping it pretty bright. There's some orange blossom and date in the middle. And then in the base, it comes through with some warmth and some spice with the Tonka and then the Ambroxan. So I was just... Uh, hating on this Neroli because it had me in a chokehold, like. Yeah, like, I really don't care for Neroli, and so this one just came off way too strong. However, um, once I kept wearing it and trying to just understand what this fragrance was and where the date <laughs> was, because that's why I got this fragrance. So I got this fragrance because it featured date and because it is a tribute to Yves Saint Laurent's like obsession with Morocco. Um, and this is supposed to be representative of a Moroccan garden. Um, I had a recent trip, well, it was recent to the start of COVID, like right before COVID, I had gone to Morocco. We visited the YSL Museum as well as his garden. And in the museum, like there was a room that just smelled so good. And I kept trying to ask the workers, like, what is this smell? Because I'm like, I need to buy his perfume. Um, but I never found out what it was, sadly. And so I think I've been trying to kind of find fragrances that help me to connect to those memories. And so this was one of them. So once the Neroli decided to calm down, the date comes in and just smooth, sweetens things up a bit and takes off the edge. It sort of caresses the Neroli and orange blossom, and then the Tonka just unifies everything. And we have a lovely orange blossom Neroli date fragrance. <laughs> so this fragrance so puts me in the mind of like the, the way that I described it or what my how I pictured this fragrance was a couple. Um, and so you may have a power couple where the wife is boss, she's up front, she's forward, she's graceful. Um, and then after she introduced herself, her husband, the date um, note, which is just suave, sweet, comes and joins her and together they make a wonderful couple. So I got images of like 
Michelle and Barack Obama, Megan Good and her husband, Devon Franklin, or even Oprah and Stedman. So I declared that I hated <laughs> the fragrance and I was surely to send it back, but then I decided to keep it. Um, my I wore it and I felt like I really enjoyed it. And then my sister wore, and I was just so surprised that she picked that one because it's a pretty warm floral. It's brightened by the Neroli, but kind of comes off with a tuberose feel. So when she wore it, it was cool outside. The way that the fragrance wafted through the air just really pulled me in and made me decide, like, I really like this. So that is Atlas Garden, my pick for a winter and ski adventure out on the slopes, cold, come back in for some hot chocolate and then cozy up by a fireplace and big blankets and bear rug on the wooden floor and candle lights and whatever comes after that. <laughs> so I would like to tag a couple people and those people are Mario Dones, Eb Aromatic, Jasmine Bullard, and Melissa Nassio. Now, now the situation that I would give you is you're going to a company holiday party, and this is not a formal or you know anything where we're dressing up and have to put on a cute gown or anything like that. This is more informal. Um, it'll be dinner and games, and you know. Just uh, the office mates that don't see you outside of work that often. What would you wear to this kind of function? I am so curious because this may or may not be a real situation. <laughs> but let me know. I hope you could do the tag. Um, you know, some people always have their content done a month or two ahead. And uh, so if you can do the tag, please do because I'm super, super curious and would love to hear your answers. Thank you and see you next video.